Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. I share simple and beautiful home decor tips to help you intentionally create a curated and cozy home. I am so excited to be sharing my first official video of 2024. In today's video, I am sharing some tips for intentionally styling your kitchen after the holidays. I know once we take the Christmas decor down in our homes, sometimes they can feel a little bare and sad. So I am sharing some simple tips to bring the freshness and simplicity back into your spaces. If you enjoy this kind of home decor content, I hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel and thank you so much for taking the time to give this video a like. It really does help out my channel so much. So let's go ahead and get right into the decorating and these tips for intentionally styling your kitchen. I always like to start decorating my kitchen in the breakfast nook area. We recently added our new kitchen table and chairs, so it's been fun coming up with new ideas for decorating this space. I wanted to simplify my decor after the holidays by adding some bright and fresh accent pieces. I have a few small new pieces that were gifts for Christmas, but everything else is decor that I have that I'm just bringing into this space. I wanted a neutral and cohesive look on the shelf in this area, so I chose all white pieces. One thing to remember when styling shelves is to vary the heights. Adding books or a wood riser under some of the decor pieces is an easy way to do this. Also keep in mind you do not have to go out and buy all new decor. One easy way to change the look of your spaces is to rotate in decor pieces from other spaces in your home. These black peg rails are an inexpensive way to add some character to your kitchen. I picked mine up at Ikea. I am adding in some neutral mugs from the Hearth and Hand line that you can find at Target. I have incorporated a few black pieces in my kitchen just to add a little bit of contrast to all the white. I wanted to keep a few of my winter stems. I kept my Norfolk pines in this Minka pot from Anthropology, and then just added in some neutral flowers that I had on hand. I love this wooden basket from Magnolia. I keep it on my kitchen table because I love the charm and warmth that it adds. One trick when styling bowls like this is to add some scrap paper to the bottom to help whatever you are putting in it not to sink all the way down. I am adding some Spanish moss on top to cover the paper and then some pine cones. I ended up removing the dish towel because I liked the look better without it. 
I found this candle, which is a dupe for the one that you can find at Anthropology for only $12 at Home Goods. It also comes in black. I love to create spaces that have that cozy, lived in feeling. So I am adding this dish towel along with this book, which was a Christmas gift from my mom and dad to the table. I don't usually keep place settings on my table because I don't like to have to move everything when we sit there, but I thought I would give you an idea for a winter tablescape. My sweet stepdaughter picked out these napkins and napkin rings as a gift for Christmas. They are a really pretty neutral color and also add a pop of pattern to the table. To bring in that wintry element, I am adding in these mini juniper picks from Amazon. The dishes that I am using are from the Dave and Jenny Mars line that you can find at Walmart. I have the larger dinner plate paired with the smaller salad plate and I am just simply setting the napkins on top of the plates. Okay, so now I'm going to move into styling the other side of my kitchen. I am reusing some of the decor from the holidays as I purposely chose pieces that could be carried over into the winter months. There is a tutorial on how I created this art piece using existing artwork in my kitchen Christmas decorate with me if you are interested in seeing how I did that. I am adding this tray to the counter and incorporating this dish towel for some texture and this bowl filler. This is the creative co-op brand that you can find on Amazon. I love the muted green tone this added to the space.
I brought in this woven tray and arrangement from my living room just to bring in something a little bit different to the kitchen. The arrangement is a mix of pine stems from Amazon and juniper stems from Etsy. To complete the grouping, I am adding this pitcher and pine cone candle. I always keep my diffuser over here on this wooden riser. It is the perfect spot because I can hide the cord behind the artwork. My absolute favorite essential oil blend is Love Affair from Aromatech. It is a little bit pricey, but I bought mine on sale and it does last for a really long time since you only need a small amount. I like to keep the decor in my kitchen intentional and functional. In this little corner, I am adding in my fruit bowl and a candle. Behind the garden, as was always you. My love is real, and it's not just for the season. It's what I feel, I don't need a better reason. You broke your heart, come use mine. My love will last, it'll stand the test of time. I found this framed sketch at Home Goods for only $12. It's simple and this is the perfect little spot for it in my kitchen. I like to look for artwork in unique frames and loved the gold antique look of this one. Changing out your florals and greenery is a quick and easy way to add a fresh look to your spaces. I am adding these greenery stems from Michaels. They have a lovely muted green tone. Test of time. Here is how everything came together. Happy New Year to all of you, and I am looking forward to sharing lots more home decor inspiration and intentional styling ideas with you this year. Thank you all so much for your support. It truly means the world to me. Hey, look at me, Mona, what I become. I've been running least, looking for something. Digging deep since 99 What I thought was gone Was sitting in my pocket In plain sight all alone I think it's time for me to go Burn all bridges All I know I got lost along the way Give, you get to keep. So long 
Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you got some ideas and inspiration for your home from this video. If you enjoy this kind of home decor content, a really wonderful way to show your support is to give this video a like and to hit that subscribe button. I have so much more home decor content to share with you in 2024, and I will see y'all soon in my next one. Don't leave it on.